so let's talk about Chris Mack and Dino Gaudio. Mm. Um, if you're not paying I'm clapping. I'm so excited. Yeah, if you're not paying attention to what's going on here, you might remember Dino Gaudio fired from the University of Louisville. This this was a head scratcher for a lot of people because Dino Gaudio and Chris Mack were, were BFF. Close. They were very yes. close for 30 years, 20 years. What's the mm-hmm. number they were throwing out well, there? Well, Coach, Cow, 45 Coach years. Cow was close to him for 38 years. Uh, yeah, so, so it's so longer quite, than Chris Mack. So yeah, Chris Mack is like yeah, 32 years. 32 years, yeah. whatever. Cow knows him better. Think of a think of a big number. That's how many years <laughs> these, these two are friends. Are you saying lifetime contract? That's how there long is. he's known him. Yes, there was. Exactly. Uh, and, and Dino Gaudio unceremoniously gets kicked to the curb. The details were very hazy. Fired. Fired. Yes. Which doesn't happen often ish. Mm-hmm. Most I don't people know. part ways. They part ways. He yeah. was fired. He was fired. He was straight yes. up fired. Uh, and the fact that, that Chris Mack and Dino Gaudio were buddies and, and they, they had a history together that was mostly positive, we had mm-hmm. thought, mm-hmm. Um, it was a little shocking. And then Luke Murray uh, was was also let go or yes. parted ways. He or parted ways. He was he was parted ways. Yes. yes. <laughs> uh, and suddenly you're looking around. And you're like, what the hell is going on with this Louisville? Mm-hmm. Uh, bat? They they did not make the NCAA tournament this year, so maybe it was just like let's hit a reset button. But at the same time, this is weird. This is very weird. Yeah. Uh, we found out later why it was weird because Dino Gaudio was apparently trying to extort Chris Mack. Yes. But was it before he was fired? Was it after he was fired? Uh, anyway, Dino Gaudio gets uh, federally charged, federal charges, right? Mm-hmm. Which is makes it sound more serious. I don't know if it really is or not, but uh, uh, he gets federally charged with extortion, which uh, <laughs> you, you might remember we had Mike Rutherford. Uh, Louis, anytime yes. anything bad happens in Louisville basketball. <laughs> we give him a call. We, give, we put out the bad <laughs> signal for Mike. <laughs> Let's call Mike. Spoiler alert, we're, we're not having Mike on. Uh, I, I, did, I did a lot of soul searching after the mm-hmm. last time he came on, and I really thought about it, and I was like, he's absolutely right. Like, that is not, that's not good. We no. shouldn't do that. We'd like, much rather Mike listen to this and then be yeah. upset that he was not asked to be on. <laughs> that's what it as, is. As we erroniously say things and predict right. things, and he's so, like, that's not true. Yeah, for the next 20 minutes, we're just going to get everything wrong. <laughs> yes. So Mike listens to this gets pissed off and, and it like, wants to come back never talk about louisville again without mm-hmm. calling me mm-hmm. and then he forgets that we only have him on when yeah he just signed up for this <laughs> yeah <laughs> i got you <laughs> uh so so gaudio um what, what was the what was the official narrative that he was fired and mm-hmm. then tried to extort right yes the, yeah the the original report that we got and this is coming now we figured out from the chris mack camp right i think there's two different camps there's the dino gaudio camp and there's the chris mack camp and the chris mack camp put out to the world that dino gaudio had recorded some conversations uh, and was trying to use those recorded conversations against Chris Mack uh, basically to get his severance, to get what he was owed from the school. Right. And that was how it was reported. Everyone's like, Dino Gaudio, what an idiot. I can't believe he's doing this. That is, you know, extortion to a T, yada, yada, yada. And then the big... The big thing that we learned from this whole fallout is that Chris Mack recorded the conversation. So yeah, it was not yeah. Dino Gaudio. This, so that, was, this that was the first thing we need to point in out. In court. We have not learned. Jim, do you know the difference between blackmail and extortion? No, I think they're pretty much the same thing. Really? I just Googled it. <laughs> <laughs> I think you, extortion you, is worse, right? Did, did you Google yeah, it? Yeah, <laughs> I think it's a. I think that's just like the more legal term yeah. you're looking for. Were you yeah. Googling it because we were talking about it, or is it unrelated? <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, because you were talking open. about it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. I was actually just Googling this this week, <laughs> as it turns out. Uh, so, yeah, the, the, this, this is making its way through the, the court process. Uh, Gaudio, for what it's worth... Um, took a plea deal mm-hmm. so he he faces zero prison time this is this is why i said at the top that the uh, the legal part of this is kind of a definitely a blip it's yeah. not kind of a blip it definitely is uh he took a plea deal he apparently the the prosecutors are recommending a ten thousand dollar fine and zero jail time so like that's ultimately what we're talking about here yeah like a when slap the on the settles, wrist. he's gonna yeah. get he's gonna pay 10 grand um and and that's gonna be that but throughout this process this stuff is coming out as you said chris mack recorded the conversation apparently um, also, what, what were what were the other the the uh, 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 nuggets? One was uh, Chris Mack was Dino Gaudio claimed that Chris Mack was trying to pull scholarships from guys. Yeah, the the reason that uh, you know according to the Gaudio camp, right? The reason why they were upset with Chris Mack is because Chris Mack was getting pressure from the top. Yeah, the school. I mean, Papa John. Yes, we'll just say Papa John. Even yeah. though we know he's a Kentucky fan now, I yeah. imagine that the there Papa. is a, a Papa there. Chris, <laughs> yeah. it's the Papa. So Papa J calls down to Chris <laughs> and he says, uh, "We go to the." NCAA NCAA tournament here uh, and if you don't do that we're going to get Rick Pitino back he starts yep. freaking out yep. and he goes to his top assistants and says says you guys are terrible the recruits you brought in suck 
pull their scholarships. We need new players. What if he called Patino? Was like, what? Do, how do I handle this? You've been here before. Yeah. You've been in this seat. What do I do? And Rick's like, blame everybody else, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. make it seem like you're taking yeah, all like, the blame. Yeah, he's like plausible deniability. <laughs> Ever heard of it? It's the best ability in the game. Uh, uh, Chris Mag. So this is their their version of the story, which you know it, it probably does check out at some level. I'm not saying that Chris Mack was like, let me rip these scholarships away, but it does seem that he was freaking out and said, I have to make wholesale changes to the staff yeah. and to the entire roster. So my, that's where we were. Is it bad that I, I'm going to go ahead and assume that it's bad that uh, when I read that Chris Mack may or may not have wanted to pull scholarships from players, mm. I didn't really have a problem with it. <laughs> <laughs> is that bad? Is that I mean, bad? when Papa Jay's on the line, you know, you're just trying to I make mean, I guess it depends on which players and uh, the circumstances around pulling their scholarships. Yeah, I, I mean, I think if you're Luke Murray or Dino Gaudio in this situation, let's, let's use it. If, if Papa Jay calls Chris Mack, Chris Mack calls you and says, pull the scholarships, you know how this works. Yeah. Chris Mack isn't calling the families to say that we yeah. pulled the scholarship. Like, yeah. you're making that phone call. I th and I think, you know, if you're Dino Gaudio, if you're Luke Murray, you're like, there's no way I'm making that phone call. Yeah. There's no way I'm telling that kid that he's losing his scholarship and then calling the family that I recruited <laughs> yeah. to tell yeah. him that they lost the scholarship right. because right. Papa Jay and Chris <laughs> Mack are upset. You know what I mean? That's that's where I feel like the humanity part of this came into the equation. I remember uh, when when I was at Ohio State, the, the coaches would use pulling the scholarship as a threat mm. all the time. Mm. Like, if, if a guy didn't like close out strong enough yeah. they'd be like it is like the boogeyman they'd be like Deeper, do that again i will yeah. pull your scholarship mm -hmm. that's something that all the assistants coach motto would, would say to him. Yeah. and for the most part the guys like took the scholarship for great like i remember thinking it was like a huge, like oh, oh, oh no he didn't did he say that and the players were like you have your hand up you're like coach quick question can yeah, i get can i get this yeah i was like pull it and give it to me <laughs> And I remember the players being like, do it, bitch. I don't care. Like, yeah. like it didn't compute with, like, what pulling yeah. the scholarship was. Because you really don't see you don't really, like, yeah, think the about, tangible like, benefits of yeah. that. You yeah. just don't pay anything. <laughs> <You> don't, <yeah. laughs> now, now it's like, yeah, pull my scholarship. I don't, I don't want to go to class anyway. I'll get name, image, likeness, whatever. Who go cares? to the overdone league. I'm, I'm transferring. I can make one phone call and be at Memphis tomorrow. You think I care about this? I mean, this, uh, there was other stuff like recruiting violations. Um, there was uh, uh, that 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 Dino Gaudio said he was going to to bring to light or like mm -hmm. th was it was he he was using that as extortion or was it I mean, he, he eventually was. But or was it like he approached Chris Mack and said, hey, we're, we're committing these violations. What if we didn't? And Chris Mack was like, we're at Louisville, baby. That's yeah, what we do here. I, I think that Dino Gaudio got fired and he was very upset about getting fired. And then I think. He had the dirt, you know what I mean? And when you have the dirt in your hand, you don't have to throw it back, you know what I mean? He could have just dropped yeah. that dirt. And I think he picked it up, threw that dirt back at Chris Mack, and Chris Mack said, guess what? <laughs> I recorded conversations. You were trying to extort me. I'll see you in court. And Dino Gaudio was like, what? what? I thought we were friends. <laughs> what? I thought we were friends. <laughs> Hey there, thanks for watching Titus and Tate. For the full friend of the program experience, subscribe right below and come join us for all things college basketball. The action is heating up. Come join Titus and Tate.